I wake up to the same ritual. If my bag low, then my day get difficult. A couple different strains for various turfs. I hope when I die, I get buried in earth. I roll with sterners and we hide. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley, and this is Certified Piehead. Smoking on one of my nighttime spliffs. You know we about to do, Bird Club. We about to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theory, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theory. Today's theory involves the mafia. Picture this, folks. It's the 90s. Prohibitions got America drier than the desert in July. And the mafia is out there running booze like it's the Kentucky Derby. But here's the kicker. They had an even bigger secret than Al Capone's tax evasion. An underground cannabis empire. That's right, my peeps. While well, everyone was sipping on illegal hooch, the mafia was puffing away on a pot operation so secret they could have passed it off as oregano in a mob run pizzeria. Put on your walking shoes, folks. Because we're about to take a walk down a rabbit hole so deep. It's like getting lost in a smoky back room at a speakeasy. Here's a riddle for you I run the numbers, but no calculator in sight. If you owe me, Pay up or you'll sleep through the night. I carry no gun, but depths I collect. In the mafia, I'm the one with a sharp intellect. Who am I? The mafia. Those slick, sharp dressed fellas in pinstripe suits knew that a good time wouldn't last forever. Like a gangster eyeing the next big score after a bank heist, they were always two steps ahead. Prohibition was only going to keep the cash flowing for so long. So, what did these wise guys do? They found a little secret something else to keep the gravy train rolling. Cannabis. Yes, weed. The ultimate high risk, high reward game. Now let's talk strategy. The mafia wasn't just growing cannabis in some alley garden like a couple of Johnny come latelys. Nah, peeps. These guys ran their weed business smoother than a getaway car in reverse. It was all underground, all under wraps. Like a big easy with a secret password. They had grow ops tucked away in places you never even expect. Hidden basements, back rooms of butcher shops, maybe even behind Aunt Maria's bakery. You order a cannoli and if you wink the right way, you might get a little extra herb on the side. Here's another riddle for you. I make the deals. I smooth out the messes. When tensions are high, I calm the distresses. I speak for the boss when his voice can't be heard. A trusted advisor. You hang on my word. Who am I? Well, most people thought the mafia was busy running moonshine through hidden tunnels. They were really pulling a double whammy. These tunnels, they weren't just for booze. They were for rowing in bales of cannabis like it was just another shipment of bathtub gin. They'd load up the crates, booze, and bud like a smuggler's version of a two-for-one special. And let's be real. The feds. They were too busy raiding speakeasies and chasing down Capone to even notice. The boys in blue were stumbling over barrels of whiskey while the mafia was laughing their way to the bank and high as a kite and richer than Rockefeller. If only they do, right? This was like sneaking a jazz band into a Baptist church service. Bold, audacious, and completely undetected. Here's another riddle for you. I sit in the shadows, always look in the part, and my world loyalty comes from the heart. With a snap of my fingers, a job is done. I'm the boss of all bosses, the untouchable one. Who am I? Now, the mafia, they weren't just dealing any old reefer madness weed. Nah, bruh. They were connoisseurs, craftsmen of the cannabis world. These guys developed their own strains with names so Italian it might as well come with a side of spaghetti. Take them. La Foligua Nera, the black leaf. Legend has it, this strain was so potent that even the toughest wise guy will be laid out flatter than a corpse in cement shoes just after one puff. If you wanted to get your hands on La Foligua Nera, it wasn't as simple as walking into a back alley. No, bruh. You had to know a guy who knew another guy who might owe a favor to a third guy who could make it happen. That's if you was lucky. The distribution was tight-lipped, slicker than a the mobster at a police lineup. Let me tell you, it was worth the effort. Well, hitting you be floating higher than a zeppelin over Manhattan. Talking like you just pulled off the heist of the century. Here's another riddle for you. 
I am quick with the pistol, yet quiet as night. If I'm on your tail, you're in for a fright. One shot, two shots, then it's lights out. My job's clean, I leave no doubt. Who am I? But like all good mafia schemes, the cannabis empire couldn't stay under wraps forever. Word started to spread, and eventually the feds got wind of what was really going on. But by then, the mafia was way ahead of the game. They built the empire so strong, it made prohibition look like a minor hiccup. They practically invented the cannabis business before your local dispensary thought it was cool. As legalization started creeping in, the mafia wasn't exactly sweating bullets. In fact, they were the original OGs of the weed game. They went legit faster than a stool pigeon at a grand jury hearing. Some say they even had a hand in the early legal weed businesses, making investments under shell companies with names like Big Tony's Leafy Greens LLC. Who knows? Maybe that fancy dispensary you go to downtown could have been mob owned all along. In the end, the mafia's greatest trick wasn't pulling off heists or running booze. It was growing a cannabis empire so quietly, so skillfully, that most people didn't even know it existed. They were pioneers in the pot game, long before hipsters got their hands on it. And now, some say the modern cannabis industry still owes a debt to the mafia. Maybe every time you light up a joint, there's a little nod of respect to the guys in pinstripe suits who were the first rowing joints and dodging coppers like nobody's business. The next time you think about cannabis and organized crime, remember, the mafia wasn't just packing heat. They were packing green, and they were rolling it up before it was cool. That, my friends, is the greatest secret the mafia ever lit up. The answers to the riddles. The bookie, the concierge, the don, the hitman. I'll see y'all on the next one.